the various perspective like we have already discussed hermeneutic and interpretative uh, and this now we'll be discussing about like post colonialism and under the post colonialism perspective we'll be discussing edward said okay so it's a different perspective uh hermeneutics we have already done we, under that we have done uh george herbert mead we have done goffman we have done garfinkel as well as clifford keats now we'll be discussing about the various different perspective first we'll be discussing the post colonialism and under post colonialism we'll be mainly focusing upon edward said now uh edward said basically was born on 1st november in 1935 on and in palestine and he was a palestinian american academic as well as your the political activist uh, he's known to be as the father of post colonialism just remember this thing father of post colonialism now what do you mean by post colonialism post colonialism is a perspective which critically examines okay the political as well as the cultural and the social impact or social impacts of uh, basically the colonial rule okay so this term to be as post colonialism like the post colonial uh, literature it mainly includes the study of uh, theory as well as the literature uh, which is related to the colonizer as well as the colonized experience like after the colonization it mainly focus upon the impact of that colonization upon the colonizers uh, and what kind of a social cultural political impact it had okay so we can take an example of like britishers and the colonization in india so after that uh, colonialism what was a different impact which uh, had on india so the post colonialism mainly focus upon this kind of a study as well as on the study of theory as well as on the literature and focus upon the uh, impact of the uh, colonies which were formed by the for example if we take an example of the western world okay and on the impact on the eastern world okay now said is best known for his book that is orientalism in 1978 so we'll be focusing upon this concept of orientalism and then there are different uh, basic concepts which are related to this only okay so in this whole uh, lecture we'll be discussing about edward said concepts but those concepts are again related to this major one that is orientalism okay now what do you mean by orientalism orientalism in this he mainly focused upon that uh, you know it's an important uh, most important book which was written by edward said and in this he has mentioned that uh, the occidents which he termed it to be as the western world okay the western countries and your orients termed to be as your eastern world okay now in orientalism he stated that uh, the occidents the western world how they projected uh, you know uh, or had some kind of a prejudice or a bias against the orients or the eastern world and based upon that biasness or that bias basically uh, how they projected a false picture of the orients okay so how they projected a false picture of the orients as well as it uh, and that false how when this false picture was projected and it facilitated their own uh, domination or supremacy over the eastern world okay so uh, what kind of a picture in their culture or in their you know in their art how they pro projected a picture of orients as to be an inferior and exalted culture and just to uh, maintain that kind of a supremacy over the eastern world so that is the basic concept of orientalism okay so now we'll be discussing this orientalism so uh, in this uh, the, there's a cultural representation of how the western world perceives the orient okay so uh, remember the western world will be the occidents and orients will be the uh, your eastern world okay so orientalism it's a thesis which proposes the existence of subtle and very persistent 
Eurocentric prejudice, which was against the Islamic people and their culture. So basically, it was how the false picture, you know, was uh, portrayed of uh, basically when you talk about Asia, but majorly about the Middle East country. Okay, the Islam, basically the Islamic people and their culture, just to maintain their supremacy as well as their uh, domination over these uh, countries or these areas. Okay, so that terms to be as Orientalism. So it refers to the Western academic as well as cultural tradition representing the East, primarily the Middle East, as to be exotic, inferior, and irrational. Okay, just to maintain that supremacy, they how they were portraying the Middle East or you know the Eastern countries. Okay, just to maintain that kind of a supremacy. Okay, so it was the how can you describe Orientalism? That it is an inaccurate, inaccurate cultural representation okay uh, which is formed on the foundation of the western world and uh, of the east especially uh, of the middle east so that terms to be as orientalism so it pro uh, this orientalism provided a rationalization okay of european colonialism which was based upon some kind of a, a self serving history okay and how they used to uh, portray the eastern world okay to be as different to be as inferior and extremely different from the other things okay then there's a concept of othering or others it was also mentioned at to be as other okay uh, which was mentioned by edward said again it's a concept which is related to the orientalism as well so orients uh, basically the you know the eastern world basically or orients they were seen as essentially uh, some to be as monolithic which is termed to be as you know some unchanging okay and with the unchanging history uh, so they have some kind of a traditional values and uh, they were not uh, you know according to